Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jessica and today I have some extreme cleaning motivation. I was preparing for guests, so I'm going to be sharing some of my best cleaning tips, tricks, and hacks and just kind of like my routine for getting my house in tip top shape and ready for people to come over and enjoy it and to feel comfortable here and all of the things. And also a huge thanks to Narwhal for sponsoring today's video. This is the Narwhal Frio robot vacuum mop in one. I'm going to be sharing all about this amazing cleaning tool that you guys definitely want to hear all about. So definitely stay tuned for today's video and stay tuned for that portion because this thing is so cool. You're going to want to see it in action. So if you need some cleaning motivation, definitely stay here. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and let's go ahead and get started with this video. It's a long one. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're new here, I'm Jessica. I haven't come on here and like talked to the camera in ages and I know I have a lot of new subscribers. So I figured really quickly I would show my face and talk to you to make it a little bit more personal. This is our guest room, formerly my teenage daughter's room, but she swapped rooms because we have five bedrooms in this house and she wanted a different one. So um, that happened about two years ago. So I cleaned out this room and made it our guest room and we do have guests coming. So that's kind of what this video today is about. I'm getting it ready for guests. I need to get this room ready for our guests. I need to wash the bedding and I will show you here in a second, but I have stuff that needs to be donated all over the room because it's kind of become like our storage room, which I feel like that's kind of how these things tend to go. Um, because it's empty and it's like, oh, I'll just stick it in there and I'll get to it. And then you never get to it. That's what's happened. So a lot of this stuff I need to either donate or sell. Um, and I'm going to clear it out of here today and I'm going to get this bedding washed. So that's the first thing I'm going to do before I get started with anything else is strip this bed and get that stuff in the washing machine. All right, so this is our guest room and it's kind of turned into the catch-all room. As you can see, I have been decluttering this year. If you've been with me, you've seen like starting in January, I've done a lot of decluttering and just trying to minimize the amount of things that we have because we just have so many things. And honestly, a lot of it has gotten donated or given to friends and family or whatnot, but a lot of it has accumulated in this room and it is almost halfway through the year. And so it is time to like really, start getting rid of this stuff. So I am going to throw these sheets in the washing machine. I'm using my Buff City soap in the scent Narcissist because we have guests coming in. I wanted the sheets to smell really amazing and this will definitely do the trick. And then the blue Suavitel is also my favorite. So I'm just throwing those in really quickly. Put them all in there. Not anymore? Not everything? Good job. Good job. Oh, wow. Good job. Here, can you grab the handle? Right here, grab this. Right here, bud. Grab this. It. You got it? I got it. Okay, come on. The puppy. The puppy. Good job. So to wash my real leather couches, this will also work for fake leather couches. I always use Castile soap. This one is in the citrus scent. It smells really good. Target has a lot of scents, but you can also get them on Amazon or a lot of different places. So I mix just a small amount in with some hot water and I use a microfiber cloth and I'm just going in with this little cordless vacuum quickly to vacuum any crumbs and dog hair in the cracks and crevices. And then I am just going to wipe it clean with that mixture that I made. I've been using this for years and years it leaves them so clean and shiny and it's super quick and easy to do so this is my favorite way to clean my leather couches I 
I'm using this Mr. Clean cleaning spray in the new scent, the fresh scent. It smells like the downy unstoppable beads. It smells so good. You can also get it in like the multi-purpose cleaner liquid that you like the concentrate that you can add to like mop water. And that's what I'm using pretty much throughout this entire video to clean like these type surfaces because it smells so good. And I wanted my house does smell particularly good because I did have guests coming. I have two different sets of guests coming this week, actually. So I had a ton of cleaning to do in preparation for that. And um, we were actually going out of town. My sister and my brother-in-law are coming to watch our children for us because it is our 20th wedding anniversary on June 6th. And so we are going to go this weekend to Gatlinburg. We got an Airbnb cabin. And we're going to just spend a couple of days there, just the two of us, and enjoy some kid-free time. I'm super excited about it. And it will be, I think, only the second time I've left Hank overnight. I left him once overnight, um, but I was just down the road. I wasn't far, and it was only for one night. So this will be, like, the biggest trip that we've done away from him. Um, and I'm nervous, but I'm also really excited. And, of course, I trust my sister. So, And they're very excited to come up and spend some time with the kids. So... Everybody's looking forward to it. The kids are looking forward to it, and I think it's going to be much needed for everybody, so I'm really excited. When I'm doing a ton of cleaning like this, the last thing that I want to add to my to-do list is cleaning my floors because it takes so much time. That's where I want to introduce to you the Narwhal Frio. This is a robot and vacuum in one. This thing is amazing. It vacuums and mops at the same exact time, or you can have it just vacuum, or you can have it just mop. It is completely customizable. You guys know that I love a good product that helps me with time management and when it comes to cleaning my house, if it makes it easier, I'm all about it. So with this robot vacuum, you literally just push a button and let it do all of the cleaning for you. The base station, which is where the robot charges itself, has a clean and dirty water tank. It also has built-in floor cleaner, which it automatically mixes the proper amount every single time, so you don't have to worry about that either. The floor cleaner smells really good, and it does an excellent job of cleaning my hardwood floors. Start the frail mode. My favorite mode is the Frio mode. This takes all the guesswork out. This uses their AI technology. It senses how dirty your floor is and it will continue to clean them until it no longer senses dirt. So it will go back and wash the mop pads and then go back and continue cleaning. And that way it's not spreading dirt all over your floor. So here it's cleaning up some grape jelly. It sensed it was dirty. It went back to the base station and it washed the mop pads and then it went back and continued the task that it had set out to do and it will keep doing that until it senses that your floors are completely clean. It just cleaned up that grape jelly and now look at them they're clean ready to go finish the job. It has no problem cleaning up my daily messes wet dry or sticky. I have three kids two dogs and a cat and this has been such a lifesaver for me. Also a huge time saver. The mop pads spin really fast and they use a downward force. That means that they're actually scrubbing the floor. The Frio uses LiDAR sensors to map your house, which means that it navigates intelligently. It's not gonna miss any areas. It will go underneath most of my furniture and it avoids obstacles. It's also very quiet. I've been watching TV while this was vacuuming and mopping for me, and I didn't even notice it was running. One feature that I love is the smart swing technology. It swings the rotating mop pad so that it cleans corners and edges. It gets directly up on my baseboards. When it mapped my house, it automatically detected all of my area rugs, so when it's cleaning, it will automatically lift the mop pads and begin vacuuming when it senses my carpets. And the roller brush will also lift when it's mopping. The app is very user-friendly. It allows you to completely customize how you use your Frio. 
You can even clean specific rooms or areas and you can create schedules. When it's done cleaning, it returns to the base station to wash the mop pads one final time and then we'll dry them using hot air and that's it, you're done. The dustbin is large and it will not need to be emptied but about one to two times a week, which I love that. And look at the dirty water tank. How disgusting is that? My floors are so shiny and clean. Would you believe that this was entirely from a robot vacuum? I know it's hard to believe, but it really and truly is. You guys will love this thing. I love it so much. It is crazy how far robot vacuums have come in the last 10 years. If you are interested, I will have the link in the description box. Definitely check it out. I also wanted to quickly mention they are about to come out with a water exchange module. That means you can hook it up to a water source and it will actually fill the water tank up and empty out the dirty water tank for you. That is coming soon. So if you were interested in that, this makes this thing actually completely hands-free. It does everything for you, but on its own, the way it is now, it is absolutely amazing. Also quickly, I did want to mention that right now they are having an awesome promotion on Amazon. This will be their lowest price during the whole year. Plus you guys are going to get an extra $50 off. So definitely check that out because this is going to be where you can get it at its absolute cheapest. All right, so now I am done with the main living areas and it was time to go switch out and put those sheets in the dryer. So I had to clear out my dryer first and fold that load of towels. So I'm throwing those in and I'm gonna go ahead and start tackling the guest room. So here's all my stuff that I've been throwing in here and procrastinating on getting rid of. I have been letting friends and family go through this and getting rid of it slowly but surely, but I finally got rid of it on this day and um, it feels good. It always feels good to, to do that. And I don't know why I wait so long but anyhow this will always get your butt in gear when you have guests coming am i right
So this is Madeline's furniture from when she was little and I thought she would want to keep it until she was 18 and moved out, but I was wrong. She actually, when we moved rooms, she wanted our old antique bed we had and then I bought a dresser on Marketplace that kind of matches it. She wanted more of a wood theme, just something completely different than the white. And so we just have it in the guest room and it works great, whatever, but it is um, in bad shape. You can't really tell from the camera, but it's yellowing and it's got some stains on it um, and some chipping in the paint and whatnot. And while I really and truly don't mind that, to be honest with you, I think that it's still pretty and it serves its purpose. I did notice one thing when we had our last guest come that I feel like may make me want something new in there. And that is just the fact that it is a full size bed. And when you have two grown adults sleeping in there, it's kind of tight. It's not very comfortable. So I was talking to my husband, how I would like to get a queen size bed for in there. So I'm con considering the possibility of buying like a cheaper bed frame. I know exactly what I want. I think it would be really pretty to get like a black wrought iron bed frame. And then, um, I would have to get a new mattress as well. And then some sort of a dresser and, um, like redoing it again, I guess, but I don't want to spend a lot of money, but I want it to look cute. So I was thinking about possibly selling this set and using the money that I get from it to go towards getting, like I said, a cheap bed frame and then a dresser and a nightstand. And that way, well, I would also have to purchase a mattress as well. And then this mattress in here is already brand new. So I would probably give it to one of the girls and then just get rid of theirs because they both have like cheaper mattresses and this one is a really nice one. So I would have to purchase a new mattress as well. Um, but a full size bed is just really small. And like I said, we bought this with the intention of it being for a child and now it's in the guest room. So sometimes plans change, but I was just considering it. I don't know for sure if I will do it, but it's a thought. Don't want to wake up. I might be dreaming. I might be dreaming. You're stirring things up. My heart is beating. My heart is beating. All right, moving into my daughter's room, I'm just making her bed and straightening up in here. It just kind of needed some tidying and I definitely needed to dust it and vacuum. So that's what I'm gonna do in here really quick. And then I also had to clean her bathroom. She does have her own bathroom. That's one thing about our house. If you're new to my channel, every bedroom in this house has a bathroom. So we have five bedrooms and five bathrooms, but the guest bedroom and Hank's bedroom actually share a bathroom. It's a um, Jack and Jill bathroom. So that's really cool. And it's also a lot of bathrooms to clean, but I really do love it. It's awesome for when you have girls, especially because they get their own little bathroom, but I really love it. It, it doesn't bother me that I have to clean more bathrooms because they just function so great. Whoever designed this house was just, I would have loved to have met them actually, because I love the floor plan of this house. It's just so well thought out and it functions so well for a family with younger and older children. It's perfect for entertaining. It's perfect for kids running around. It's just so spacious. And, um, I just love that. It's not a open concept. I feel like I, like our living room is its own room and it's so cozy. And then the kitchen is its own room. And I love that. So, um, that's what I want in a future home is definitely a more closed off, which I know is not like the popular opinion. Everybody's all about open floor plans and I'm not a huge fan, honestly, but that's something that I want to take from this house is that. And then also I love that the bedrooms have their own bathrooms. That's another thing that I would love to bring into our next house. So I say here we 
Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not gonna wait I'm just using this Method anti-back cleaner for the bathrooms up here, or at least for her bathroom. I don't think I used it in mine actually, but it smells really good and um, it cleans fine. So that's what I'm using in case you were wondering, but her bathroom just needed a quick wipe down and I did have to take the trash out and mop. So it doesn't take me long at all. As you can see, it's really small, but it works great for her. And then her walk-in closet is actually attached to this bathroom. So you may wonder where her closet is. It's actually behind, it's like to the right of the sink, basically behind the door. So uh, nobody really ever asked me that, but I always wonder if people wonder where her closet is because it's not in her bedroom. <laughs> so she does have a closet. It's a walk-in one. It's a very nice size. So I just don't ever show it in there. Honestly, I need to go through and declutter it and clean it. It is not that organized <laughs> at the moment. Okay, so now for the master, I wanted to change our sheets. They were just due to be changed, so I'm gonna quickly do that. And um, I always have the link to our sheets in the description box. These are my favorite sheets from Amazon. They're very affordable. They're very, very, very soft. They're very thin. Um, so they are not hot in my opinion and they fit deep mattresses. So that's all perfect. Um, they come in a variety of different colors. When I ordered the gold color that I just took off, I didn't realize that they were so gold. I thought they were more of a beige. So I don't love the color of those, but whatever. Um, so I have this gray set and then that set. And then I also have like a seafoam green set and I just keep it this way. That way I always have a set clean. And so when I'm washing one, I can go ahead and immediately put on the clean set. And this I've been doing for a couple of years now and I love it. I used to only have the one set and I would 
have to wash it, dry it, and put it all back on in the same day, and that never worked out good for me. So I highly recommend having two sets of sheets so you can do this. I can't believe it's already over. Too late to talk and fix whatever's broken. You guys can probably tell in my voice I'm really tired. It is midnight and I'm doing this voiceover. It's just been a really long week and a really long day and I have to wait until either nap time or bedtime to do my voiceovers because that's the only time my house is quiet and I'm not interrupted. So I'm staying up late. I'm pulling like an all-nighter to finish this video for you guys. I had to turn it in for brand approval um, before we leave because we actually leave. Today is Wednesday. Um, Tomorrow, my sister and my brother-in-law come and I have doctor's appointment. I have to pack. I have so many things to do. And then Friday we leave and we won't be back until Sunday. So I have to try and get everything done. And so this is what it takes. So I am tired. I'm sorry if I'm making you tired by listening to me. I try to be more like peppy and upbeat in my voiceovers, but I just can't keep it together today, you guys. And watching myself do all this cleaning is reminding me of how tired I am. <laughs> All right, so our master bathroom needed cleaning as well, and I'm just using Pine Sol to wipe down everything in here, um, like the countertops and everything, and then I'm using the Pink Stuff window cleaner to clean the glass, and I do like that stuff really well, and I also like the Pink Stuff multi-purpose cleaner. It smells really good, and I like the toilet bowl cleaner as well, like the foaming one that comes in packet. I've never tried the paste. So I've heard mixed opinions on that. I don't know if it would be for me. I don't really see myself cleaning with a paste, but, um, oh, and I actually really love the, uh, soft cleanser as well. I use that to clean my kitchen sink and it smells really good. So I am a fan of the pink stuff. I've just never tried the paste that you see people use. I think it went like viral on TikTok. I'm not sure, but you'll have to let me know if you've tried it, if you like it, or if you hate it, let me know either way. <laughs>
So to clean my jetted tub, I usually will run bleach through the jets, but I decided to use dishwasher tabs. I have done this before also is a way to do it. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you do have a jetted tub, you can clean it with dishwasher tabs. I put two in there because mine's huge, but I just fill it up with hot water and run that through the jets for about a good 10 minutes, even though I don't use the jets, but I do soak in my tub and I just want to clean them out. So that's how I do it. I have tried the yuck stuff. I think it's called yuck. Um, and I think there's been like some TikTok viral videos going around of like how the stuff that it gets out. I didn't have that kind of success when I did it, but again, I clean mine all of the time. So that may be why I think sometimes they are using that and they have like never been cleaned or they haven't been cleaned in a really long time. And I can see it producing those types of results, but because I do clean mine all the time, it didn't produce results like that for me, but like I said, if you have jetted tubs, you can use dishwasher tabs or bleach. Those are the things that I use and it keeps them really clean. And a back downstairs to clean the kitchen, last but not least, I just decided it was not smart to clean it earlier in the day. As you will see later on the clock, I think you'll see it's like six o'clock at night at this point. I had been cleaning literally all day and I had all the kids home and I just did not think that it was smart to clean the kitchen because I knew immediately as soon as I walked out, they would be in there eating because that's what my kids do on summer break is just eat like around the clock every 30 minutes. <laughs> so... I saved it for last and I was so tired and I did not want to do it. I tell you what, I literally was about to cry. I just was so done, but I did it. It didn't take that long, but I'm basically just wiping down the counters and the high chair, obviously that thing gets so nasty so fast, but I didn't do like any deep cleaning in here, but I just basically wiped it down and cleared off the countertops and that made it seem clean anyways. No, it was pretty clean, but anyways, that was the gist of this clean with me. That's kind of like what I do to get the house ready for guests. Of course I did have the kids do some things behind the scenes that you didn't see. I just didn't film them. Um, Kinsley like empties the bucket at the bottom of the stairs with things where they go and Maddie cleaned the basement, her room, and um, Kinsley vacuumed the stairs. Um, they straightened up like the shoes. They put all the shoes up and stuff like that. Little things like that. They did help with me with behind the scenes and Maddie helped me with Hank. As you see, he wasn't in here a whole lot and that's because he was either napping or he was with big sis. So that was a huge help for me as well, but I definitely do put them to work and have them help me clean when it's a big clean like this and I'm pressed for time and I know I have a lot to do. It's not smart to do that all by yourself. So if you can get somebody to help you, definitely do. If you have kids, even if they're little, I mean, you saw in the first couple of scenes, my son, Hank, he's two and he can clean up his own toys. And he does sometimes without me even asking, he will literally just go pick up all his toys and put them in a basket. So ask your kids to help you. There's nothing wrong with that. A lot of times they enjoy it, especially if you make it fun, you can turn on music, set timers, um, or even reward it and say, Hey, when you guys help me clean, when, when we're done, we'll go outside and play, or we'll go get ice cream, or, um, you could just make it a game and not reward it. It doesn't matter. Do whatever works for your family. and makes sense for you, but try to get your kids to be excited about it and definitely make them help because it should not be all on you to do all of the work when you're not making all of the messes. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end my voiceover now. Don't click out yet though, because behind the scenes are coming. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the description box for links to anything that I shared in today's video, as well as the link to the Narwhal Frio, because this thing is amazing and you should definitely check it out. Such a lifesaver. I'm a huge, huge fan and I may never mop or vacuum again. <laughs> Who knows? I will see you guys next week. I'm totally out of breath right now from just walking up my stairs. What are you whining for?
What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, come on. I'll get her. She can, I'm just saying I could put this one in the guest room for the, for my guests. Nobody's gonna watch TV, they're gonna use their phones. Well, why don't you then? Huh? Oh, exactly. And if they but do, I really want her to have a bigger one because this one's so small. What? And what about me? She's you like, have a that? huge one. You have the biggest TV in the whole house. Yeah. Wanna wake up, I might be dreaming I might be dreaming